Occidental Petroleum has decided to move forward with a public proposal to acquire um, Anadarko uh, Petroleum. Of course, uh, we've been following this story for a couple of weeks ever since Chevron agreed to a deal to acquire Anadarko at $65 a share in stock and cash. Moments ago, uh, Occidental uh, decided to uh, or has presented a proposal to the board of directors of Anadarko to acquire the company for $76 a share, uh, half of that in cash and half of that in stock. Viewers may recall a couple of weeks back when the Chevron uh, Anadarko deal was signed on the 12th of, uh, of this month, I believe it was, a Friday. Uh, we had at that time reported on the possibility that Occidental would choose to do this, feeling as though it had been shut out of the final bidding uh, for that asset, having pursued it for a number of years, actually, uh, and feeling as though its proposal at the time, which, as we reported, was $76 a share, 40 percent of that in cash, was superior and wondering why it was unable uh, to get the attention of Anadarko's board of directors. And so what we have here now is a, uh, well, a good old-fashioned fight for uh, Anadarko, whose board of directors, of course, is going to have to respond to this offer this morning. Uh, and Chevron potentially in a position where it is going to have to compete with a potentially higher offer. Now, it's important to back away and remember, uh, Anadarko chose not to pursue what was a $76 a share offer from Occidental when there was conceivably an auction going on, although one that, from Occidental's point of view at least, uh, did not actually give it the opportunity to mount its best and final bid. Uh, but Anadarko felt at the time, according to people close to that company who've spoken to me, uh, that the stock price of Occidental, the need for a shareholder vote by Occidental shareholders, simply posed too much risk for Anadarko to be willing to take what appeared to be a significantly higher bid, remember 76 versus 65. That is still the case, although now they have added actually even more cash to that bid that we'd reported on as least as being the last one when the auction was going on privately. Now it's going to be in the public uh, at this point. The company is saying, by the way, it would uh, uh, create a $100 billion global energy leader. They're talking about $3.5 billion of free cash flow improvements through synergies and capital reduction. They're talking about as much as $2 billion in annual synergies and another $1.5 billion in what they call annual capital reduction, guys. So an interesting morning here, certainly uh, for Anadarko waking up to this, not to mention Chevron. And it should be an interesting uh, period in time ahead of us here. You can see how Occidental share price is responding. We'll get a better look at that a couple hours from now. Same and Anadarko, is like, as you see, I is mean, up sharply. You, yeah. You, you just don't seem nearly excited enough to me for this. This is, I mean, <laughs> and it's an oil, it's oil. It's a, it's a bidding war and it's oil. It's like here we are 30 years yeah. later or whatever it is, and it's still so valuable. Remember all the great ones back then, Favor? I mean, my mind is much, but I, I mean, remember golf I and I can't even remember all, but those were the best. You know, Mexico, and you got swashbuckling had, yeah. oil guys on both sides yep. going back and forth. And we had Arm and Hammer at one point. He wouldn't, you know, he lived forever. Everybody was waiting for him to, you know, to, to, but, but who was it? Who were the big ones? We had golf. Everybody wanted that. Um, yes. Um, Conoco, well, wasn't that a big one, too? There was. There was also Phillips, the fight. Phillips, uh, Phillips, Phillips, Phillips. There was one that went, I, you know, I'm like you now. I'm, I'm starting well, our to. Our mind is much. There was one that went together. that had an important court decision also, remember? Yeah. Yeah, tortious interference. I know. There was a bunch of them. Yeah, you know what, David? Uh, Joe. Um, but it's it, been a long time. I, they told me, Chevron, or I, I think that nobody could had this, the, the Permian Basin presence to make this such a great fit to make it work at that price. So obviously they, they, they weren't telling the truth. They were getting Anadarko at a steal because, because Oxy doesn't have the same, uh, I, I don't know, synergies, do they? The, the well, it's a big deal for well, Chevron they, and yeah. Exxon, have way more at play. Right. And, but it just seems like they, that Chevron was in there for a reason because that was, yeah. 65 must have been cheap for Anadarko if Oxy's willing to do this and without even the same overlap, right? And that, well, they do have significant, uh, do too. significant okay. operations in the Permian, without a doubt. Uh, and so they do believe that, um, you know, they can add thousands of drilling locations in what they call the core of the core of the Delaware Basin. Uh, and by the way, they point out that they have been a lot more productive in what they've done in the Permian than has Anadarko, using the statistic here, 4 percent of the wells drilled in the Permian, but 23 of the top 100 wells on a six-month cumulative oil production basis, Joe, just so you know. Well, so their claim is, hey, our technology is better and we'll be even more productive than anybody else 
Who would have All this uh, oil. social media, new tech, there's never any great stuff like this. It got me uh, oil. Oil and gas. I mean, right? I mean, why, don't, why doesn't this happen with anything else? It, it's, it, we had to go back to this. Go ahead, uh, Terran. Are you excited? You're not excited either. <clears throat> Listen, I'm excited for an oil deal. We haven't seen that in quite some time. Oh, no, where they're well, like fight. this, where it keeps yeah. going. Yeah, you know, I, I think it's great. Yeah. David, you, do you think. Yes, we had it for Fox, didn't we? Do you think Chevron is surprised by this, and how do you think they respond, and do they do so immediately? They're not surprised. Um, you know, you, there's no reason to respond immediately. They don't need to. They're not under any pressure to. The way these things typically go, Joe, is you, you know, obviously the board of Anadarko has to decide whether or not this could lead to a what they call a superior proposal. Then it would give Chevron an opportunity to raise its bid. That may be where we go. But don't forget, this is the same board that turned down $76 previously from Anadarko. Mm -hmm. Again, the fear had been, and this is very difficult to know. What would the performance of Oxy's stock price look like? We'll get a sense of that today, certainly. What about the risk of a shareholder vote that you do this deal, but Oxy shareholders feel like, no, we don't want it to actually happen because the shares have suffered a good deal. It's very important to see how that, uh, that price performs today.